Welcome to Archive, the show that brings you the best of student work here at the University of Bedfordshire. This week we visit a hospital where newlyweds Aaron and Grace are visiting their mutual friend Peter in Pillow Talk. Now we just got back from our honeymoon, I'm sure you remember. <laughs> Although you and I got pretty bladdered at the wedding. <laughs> I'm so tanned, it's great. Yeah, uh, Mottle's the best. Featuring media performance students Jimmy Ginger and Maisie Hall, we learn of the tumultuous past these characters have had with Peter and how that has shaped their relationship they have today. Peter, covered in bandages, can't respond, adding a touch of humour to this otherwise sombre piece. I'm surprised when she said yes. I guess that thought of me being in the house all by myself was a bit too much for me. All that cleaning, eh? <laughs> like all good stories, this one has a twist, but it might not be the one you're expecting. As we learn more about these characters and their histories, things aren't quite what they seem, and apparently it gets quite confusing in a hospital. Peter, it's Grace and Aaron here to see you. It's lovely and warm in here. Um, the weather since we got back has been terrible. Um, I saw the bulbs that you planted in your front garden, Peter, they've, they've been bitten by the frost. Uh, we just got back from our honeymoon, I'm sure you remember. <laughs> Although you and I got pretty bladdered at the wedding. <laughs> I'm so tanned, it's great. Yeah, uh, Mottle's the best. Uh, the weather was fantastic. I took some good photos of uh, this old town called Valenta. I could show you them. You know, once you're, once you're out of here. Once you're out of the uh, bandages. Do you want some tea? Oh, I'll, I'll go get some tea. Peter. No idea how much it hurts me to see you like this. What were you doing in the kitchen to get burned like that anyway? You should have been there. Peter, the honeymoon was great. Great food, free champagne. It's everything a girl could ask for, really. Aaron was his usual self for the two weeks. But... I just felt like there was something missing. Don't get me wrong. Mia and Aaron got on great, just like we always do when we're all together. He was his usual fun self, cracking jokes with the locals. But I just felt... I suppose I felt like there was something missing. Well... Someone missing. Peter, I wanted to come home so I could talk to you and say something to you that I've wanted to say for ages. Don't get me wrong, I love Aaron for the fun guy that he is. But truthfully, I was lonely. Lonely for your company. <laughs> I suppose I've always known you were the only one for me. Can you understand that? I don't want to tell you like this, but 
I needed you to know my true feelings now. I always wanted to settle down with you. But I couldn't wait any longer for you to ask me. Why didn't you ask me? We do get on, don't we? Sugar. No sugar. You know that I always have sugar in my tea. I'm going for a cigarette. Married life, eh? together. To be honest, it's a bit too much, but happy? Yes. Well, almost. Don't get me wrong, the honeymoon was great. Uh, the food, drinks, the weather. I got a bit bored of old women that kept coming to us saying congratulations all the time. Makes me realise how permanent it's all meant to be. You know, it took me ages to ask Grace whether she wanted to buy a place with me. I'm surprised when she said yes. I guess that thought of me being in the house all by myself was a bit too much for me. All that cleaning, eh? <laughs> well, I guess I better come clean to both her and you. You see, the thing is, I'd rather be spending time with you. We got on, didn't we? Three of us? We never stopped laughing, did we? Brilliant days. <laughs> and you and I... <laughs> you and I had some of the greatest conversations, and that's what I missed on the honeymoon. I was lonely. I was hungry for your way of looking at things. I, um... I miss you. And you know, I couldn't face asking you whether you fancied buying a place with me. Because you, you might not have wanted to. And I knew you'd be concerned with what other people might think. And I was worried you might say no. I don't think I could handle that, Peter. Do you understand what I'm saying? Freezing out there. Oh, yeah, take me back to Malta. <laughs> Peter, you can have a nice long chat when you wake up from your sleep. Yeah. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. It's time for Mary's medication. Mary? No, this is Peter Brown. No, Peter Brown's next door. <laughs>